Hey River Church, how you guys doing today? Uh, my name is Billy and I'll be leading you guys through today's devotional. Um, I want to start by telling you guys a story. Uh, so when I first became a Christian, I was attending a, a small group and uh, you know, I, was, I loved it. It was, it was a, a community group and I loved it and it was just a really good time for me. Uh, but at these community groups, um, at the end of our of our meeting, so we'd meet and we'd talk and we'd read the Bible and talk about it. And then uh, at the end of the meeting, um, we would break off into smaller prayer groups. And so, um, so we did that, right? And so I go to this, this one time, I go to this one table and uh, I'm there with a couple of dudes and then the lead pastor of the church, he comes and he actually sits at our table. And mind you, I'm a, I'm a new Christian, baby Christian, I don't feel comfortable really praying uh, at this point. Um, and then the lead pastor sits at the table with us and I'm just thinking, oh my gosh, like, I'm just going to sound so bad, uh, when it's my turn to pray. And so what happened was, or the way it would work is everybody would kind of share their prayer requests and then you'd go around the, the, the table and you'd pray for the person next to you. And, uh, man, I was so nervous. I was thinking the whole time I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to sound crazy. This is going to be bad like uh this is this is um i was just i was just terrified and so um so anyway everybody shares their prayer request and we bow our heads and sure enough we're going around the table and uh it's my turn to pray and so i you know i prayed um it was fine but i just remember i remember being really nervous and really really scared to pray and so um that's what our devotional today is going to be about. Last week, I talked to you guys uh, about the kind of the heart behind prayer. We were in Matthew chapter six, and I talked to you guys about the heart behind prayer. And, and God, when you pray, uh, God looks at your heart, right? He looks at your motives behind your prayer. Uh, he, he doesn't want you to be praying so that everybody can see you and you can receive praise from people. Uh, and he also doesn't want you to be praying and just uh, throwing up all of these words and all of this language in hopes that through that language, your prayers will be heard. And, uh, and so that was kind of the point last week. And so <clears throat> uh, what I wanted to share with you guys this week is I actually wanted to give you guys a tool for prayer. So uh, last week, we kind of learned about uh, the heart behind prayer. Today, I wanted to give you some sort of practical guidelines uh, uh, or, or a practical outline for you guys to follow in your prayer uh, to help with your prayer life. Um, I know sometimes I try and think of different stuff to pray about, and I know sometimes for me it, it's just it can get difficult. Um, I can lose my train of thought. I can lose different things and uh, just forget where I was going with prayer. And so today I'm going to show you guys a, a simple way but an effective way uh, to pray. Uh, now the model that I'm going to be showing you guys, it's, it's basically, uh, we're going to be praying through scripture. And so as we read scripture, we just pray about what we're reading. Um, and this kind of makes it a lot easier on myself, a lot easier, hopefully for you guys to be able to, 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 to pray. So, um, we're actually going to look at I have, I'm going to share it with you guys. I'm trying to get super fancy here. Um, but I'm going to share with you guys so you can see it. And so uh, you guys should be seeing this. But last, last week, uh, we talked about this top part here. Uh, but this week, I want to focus on act the actual Lord's Prayer. And so through this model that I'm teaching you guys today, uh, it's basically you read a little bit of scripture and then you just pray about that little bit of scripture. And then you read another little piece of scripture and you then pray about that piece of scripture. And so in doing so, um, you're just able to, to pray and your, your prayers are fresh and they're new and they're, they're different, right? Sometimes our prayers continue, uh, are the same over and over again. So, so this hopefully, um, hopefully this helps. Um, you can do this. It's, it's really good with the Lord's Prayer. One of the things I like about the Lord's Prayer is it's a very general prayer. And so a lot of these topics can trigger thoughts that we have, right? 
uh, if you see verse eight here, it says, um, the father knows what you need before you ask him. And so as you're going through this, like stuff will come to mind, like, oh yeah, that's, so hopefully it, it helps. And, and like I said, you can do this through the Lord's prayer. It's a great prayer for that. Uh, you can go through a lot of the Psalms uh, and just read verse by verse and just pray. And so uh, I want to show you guys uh, that today and uh, hopefully it helps you guys, hopefully and encourage you guys. So uh, I'll, I'll lead us through this. And so it says, when you pray, pray like this, <clears throat> uh, verse nine. Uh, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Lord, you are uh, great. You are majestic. Um, your name is holy, Lord. Hallowed be your name. Praise be to your name. Your kingdom come, verse 10. Your king, kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Uh, Lord, I pray that your will be done on earth, Lord. I pray that your will be done in my life. Uh, Lord, I pray that your will be done throughout uh, this, this earth, this, this, the world that we live in. Lord, I pray that your will is done. And Lord, I pray that your, your kingdom come. Lord, I pray that, that, we, that earth starts to look more and more like uh, the kingdom, your kingdom that you uh, are preparing for us, Lord. Um, Verse 11, give us a stair daily bread. Lord, uh, you promised to provide us our needs. Lord, uh, Lord, I pray here that, you, as the scriptures say, Lord, I pray that you provide us our daily bread, Lord. I pray that you provide us our physical bread and, and our spiritual bread, Lord. I pray that you feed my heart. I pray that you feed our hearts, Lord. And I pray that you also uh, give us uh, the food to sustain us, Lord. Um, verse 12 for, and forgive us our debts as, as we also have forgiven our debtors Lord I pray that you just forgive me of my sins my ugliness Lord Lord I pray that you give me the strength and the power to forgive the people who have sinned against me Lord um, that's that's a hard one Lord and oftentimes I don't want to do this Lord but uh, Lord I pray that you give me Give me that, that, that strength, Lord. Uh, verse 13, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, I pray that you, you keep me from temptation. Lord, I pray that you keep me from sin. Uh, Lord, I pray that you even keep me from being tempted to sin, Lord. I pray that you protect me. I pray, pray that you protect my mind. I pray that you protect my day. Um, and I pray that you... You, 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 you lead, lead me not into temptation, Lord, but you but deliver me uh, from that evil, Lord. I pray these things in Christ's name. Amen. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's basically it. Uh, but what you see there is, is you see that Scripture was guiding my prayers. And so uh, if some of us, and I know I... I, I, I struggle here too. Um, if, if, if we have sometimes have a hard time of praying and have a hard time of, or maybe you get discouraged with your prayer life because you feel like it's very repetitive and it's a lot of the same over and over again. Uh, my prayer and my hope is that, that, that this is a great model for you guys to just pray and seek the Lord in fresh and new ways. Uh, I love you, River Church, and I'm looking forward, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again.